What's up, guys? This is Kefis. In this video, I am going to showcase some new macros that I have created for World of Warcraft using a mod called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. This mod allows you to create extremely powerful macros that can perform most if not all of your rotation with a single button. This can be extremely useful for individuals like myself who has a disability or for people who just want to be lazy. So keep in mind that these macros are created primarily for those who are playing the game at a more casual level, but feel free to use them and alter them as you see fit. If you have further questions about the mod or my macros, I recommend checking out my FAQ video, and if you'd like to learn more about how to play the class in question, you might want to check out my crash course. It can help get you started. And I will provide links to all of these things in the description below. So today we're going to check out the macro that I've created for Discipline Priests. Now this is really uncharted territory for me because I'm not really much of a healer. Healing is very difficult for me because of my vision, keeping track of the UI and everything. But Discipline Priests do have a damage rotation incorporated in how you play the class. So I'm going to focus entirely on the damage side of a Discipline Priest and I've tried to make a macro that will work for them so that way if you're playing a Discipline Priest you can try out this macro it can make the damage aspect of playing the class a little bit easier allowing you to focus more on healing uh, when you need to and when you're playing the class also it just makes it easy if you're leveling up if you decide to level up as Discipline because you don't want to roll Shadow then you have a macro that would maybe help out. So let's take a look at it and I'll show you what it can do. It's pretty straightforward stuff and it's pretty pretty handy. So type slash GS, it's the first macro here uh, you will import called Kef Disc and it is a discipline macro for dealing damage. That's for single target and for AoE. So obviously any healing ability is going to be managed separately. There's no way to obviously macro healing abilities. I mean, that would be kind of... Uh, difficult to do with how healing works so that's not really an option but let's go ahead and take a look at what the macro actually does under uh, key press you will see that if you hold down shift in my case it's going to use purge the wicked now that's a talent that replaces shadow word pain right so if you don't use purge the wicked then the macro will use shadow word pain if you hold down shift that's your main dot so that way it makes it easy that you don't want to be using that all the time but with the use of a modifier you can keep spamming the macro and then control when to apply and reapply your dot so pretty easy stuff to manage all right under pre-macro we have concentrated flame now this is the 8.2 essence that i am currently using if you are using a different essence for your heart of azeroth like memory of lucid dreams then you will have to come in here and replace concentrated flame with whatever essence you are using and if you change your essence out essence out after that then you will want to make sure that you come in and replace and uh, alter the macro to use whatever essence you are currently using so don't forget that it's very important if you want your macro to manage your essence now we get into the main line of the macro okay I've put no channeling in with any many uh, with any of the abilities that I could to try to uh, lessen the chance that you will interrupt any channeling ability but whenever you are channeling an ability of any kind make sure that you stop spamming up the macro so that you don't risk interrupting it I've done the best I could to try to prevent that as best as I can but there's no guarantee that that will always happen so first thing it's going to use penance on cooldown and then we have four talents we have schism power word solace divine star and halo if you choose any of those talents then the macro is going to be using them as soon as they are available and then we follow that up with shadow fiend the macro will be summoning your shadow fiend and lastly we have smite which is your filler and of course your, the macro will be using smite um, as filler so pretty straightforward macro there isn't a whole lot to go over it will help hopefully make dealing damage a lot easier and it's again pretty straightforward with the use of a modifier you can use your dot and then otherwise you just spam the macro to use all of your abilities now talents are going to be a little bit uh, confusing and challenging to go through um, for the most part they are passives of course we saw that solace is included power or I'm sorry schism power word solace those are all included in there and so if you decide to go with mind bender it replaces shadow fiend the macro will still summon your mind bender as it would your shadow fiend like I say passes are pretty straightforward stuff nothing to really talk about there a lot of these are healing abilities so keep that in mind um 
So here's the one that is Purge the Wicked. It's a replacement of Shadow Word Pain. Uh, again, if you are not using Purge the Wicked and you want to use Shadow Word Pain, the macro will use Shadow Word Pain when you hold down the modifier. So pr again, like pretty easy stuff. The th only ability to really talk about is Halo. Um, Halo can be a very dangerous ability that can, uh, you know, attack more enemies than you tend to. So be careful with using that one. It is included in the macro, but it has a fairly long cooldown. Uh, but it's really handy. It will do some healing. Now, because it does do healing, um, that might be something that you don't want to use on cooldown. You might want to have more control over. So keep that in mind. If that is the case, then you would want to remove Halo from the macro or add it to a modifier. That way you can still use it whenever you want to deal damage with the macro. Uh, but keep that in mind for abilities like that. And even Divine Star because, you you know, it is kind of a um, ability that, you know, is based on the area that you're standing on so you know that that can be a little bit iffy when using it with a macro so these are definitely two abilities that you want to consider uh when using the macro and that's basically everything you need to know about these macros and how they work remember these macros work best when they are spammed so either press the button as fast as you can or use a rapid fire button which is fair game as long as you're the one pressing the button as powerful as these macros are, they are far from perfect. So, if you want to play the game at a high level and get the most out of your class, I highly recommend that you play the game without these macros. But, if you'd like to get started with Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, you can do so by downloading and installing the mod. A link can be found in the description below. Along with it, you will find pay-spin links for any macros featured in this video. If you'd like to use them, simply click the link and you'll be taken to a raw pay-spin of the macro. Select the entire macro, copy, log in to the appropriate class, type slash GS to open the GNOME sequencer screen, click on import, paste the macro into the available space, make sure that automatically create macro icon is checked, and click import. You can now drag the icon to your action bar and the macro is ready to be used. If you followed all the steps correctly, the macro should be working fine. If something isn't working, Start over and make sure that you follow all the steps correctly. If you are having further issues, I recommend that you check out the mod page or contact the mod's author for more information. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.